JavaScript, a language that runs the internet and ruins developers' sanity. You ruined everything! It's the most popular programming language in the world, but also the reason why you've seen undefined is not a function at 3 a.m. And let's break down why JavaScript is both the best and, and absolute worst language to ever exist. First, JavaScript is everywhere. It runs on browsers, servers, databases, and even your smart fridge. You can build a website, a mobile app, and a backend, all with one language. It has huge community support, meaning if you have a problem, 10,000 developers have already argued about it on Stack Overflow. I'm trying to fetch an image URL from an API and pass it as a file prop in my React app. It's not working. Any suggestions? This is basic JavaScript. Did you even read the documentation? Hmm? I've read the docs, but they don't cover this specific case. They don't cover it because it's too simple to need documentation. Look, why don't you build a custom middleware to pre-process the URL into a compatible format before passing it. Oh. It's the proper way to handle this mate. Isn't that overkill for a small feature, Alfie? Overkill? That word is not in my vocabulary, Tom. You're clearly not thinking about scalability. It's also incredibly flexible. You don't need to define types and you can write code however you want. Functional, OOP, or just pure chaos. But hold on, chaos? But here's where JavaScript goes full psycho. You ever compare two things in JavaScript and get an answer that makes zero sense? Like um, zero is equal to the string zero. Zero is also equal to an empty array. And somehow zero is even equal to a string with just a space, a tab, and a new line. What even is truth anymore? And then there's the classic. Undefined find is not a function. You are 100% sure that function existed, but JavaScript has other plans. Oh, and let's not forget about not a number, which literally stands for not a number. Yet somehow, the type of man is a number. Thanks, JavaScript. Very cool. Enter TypeScript. It forces JavaScript to behave like a responsible adult. You can act like a man! What's the matter with you? No more accidental undefined bugs. No more number plus string madness. And best of all, autocomplete actually works. But let's be real. Half of us still ignore TypeScript errors and YOLO our way into runtime crashes. JavaScript is both the best and worst thing to happen to web development. But love it or hate it, we're stuck with it. So next time your code breaks for no reason, just remember, at least it's not PHP.